sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. You were exactly where you were supposed to be. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for conclusions to television shows that had viewers at a loss for words, for better or for worse. Since we're talking major plot points, this is a spoiler alert. Can't take a picture of this, it's already gone. Number 10, with open eyes, Succession. This dark comedy series uses a power struggle as the backdrop for family dynamics. I'll leave you alone, I'll go, if right. you just tell That's me how you're voting. That's not backing off, you're still just talking. Just tell me how you're talking. voting, man. Come on, talk. man up, Thanks, man. Mom, this is great. I need you Thank to man you. up here, Roman. I'm going. The finale stays true to its themes of betrayal and bitterness, as members of the Roy family suffer under the weight of their ambition. With the Waystar Roy Co. acquisition looming, the siblings attempt to retain some control, which leads to stabbing each other in the back. I can do this. I don't think you'd be good at it. What? I don't... I don't even believe you. I don't believe you. I don't. I don't think that you would be good at this. As a satire, the show seemed to have always been building to an inevitably bleak ending. However, the twists and small character moments in the finale made a strong mark on audiences and critics. And, and re... Uh, re... Re... Ken. Uh, Ken, it's done. 7-6. We sell it to Gojo. You don't have it. Much like Kendall's last big scene, all we could do was quietly let the shock settle in as it all came crashing down. Number 9, Who Am I? and Hello Elliot, Mr. Robot. The protagonist's struggle with mental health tended to make the narrative of Mr. Robot difficult to follow. I'm alive. With trains. You are too. Right? Where are we? However, the finale changes the perspective of everything that happens from the beginning to its final moments. In this two-parter, Elliot Alderson thinks he's now in a world where his abusive past never happened. Your father and I would never, ever hurt you. We love you. After killing his alternate self to claim the latter's life, he finds out that nothing around him is real, even the Elliot we followed for the entire series. The real Elliot was trapped in his own mind by the mastermind identity, who was the point of view character of the show. Even though we'll be gone, it's like Mr. Robot said, we'll always be a part of Elliot Alderson. The mastermind ultimately lets Elliot go, leaving fans to ponder a twist years in the making. Number 8, Whenever You're Ready. The Good Place. Depending on how you see it, The Good Place ends on either a feel-good note or with a gaping hole of emptiness. The characters each attain the fulfillment they need to move on, which means ending their existence in the universe. You can sit on that bench as long as you'd like, and whenever you're ready, you just walk through. I'm ready. The show's creative team probably could have kept the story going, or left room for the opportunity, but the ending opts for a more definitive approach with Eleanor finally passing through the door to finish things up. It's anyone's guess. Mm. But as a very wise, not robot once told me, the true joy is in the mystery. The Good Place has several bait and switch moments in its run, so a finale where everything is sealed with no going back is a bit unexpected. It's a happy ending without a doubt, but this kind of absolute finality can be hard to digest upon first viewing. Oh my, look at that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Number seven, remember the monsters? Dexter. I love you, Deb. Ask a Dexter fan about this episode from the show's original run, and you'll likely never hear the end of it. When his sister Deborah is pronounced brain dead from an attack by the villain, Dexter seeks revenge and ends his nemesis. Foolish dream that I could have a happy life. Is that why you're here? Tell me all this. No, I'm here to kill you with that pen. After ending his sister's life support, he drives into a storm in the ocean. In the last scene, it turns out that Dexter is still alive, but now lives as a lumberjack. And that's it. Fans and critics didn't really know what to make of the ending, since it gives no clue of Dexter's future. Batista. Dexter? After watching the main character take out serial killers and evade capture for so long, the abrupt and rather ambiguous ending was polarizing for audiences. Number 6, Saul Gone, Better Call Saul. Topping the Breaking Bad finale was always going to be difficult, since that ending left audiences riveted by Walter White's demise. Still, 
Better Call Saul arguably surpassed it with an ending that went against its established knack for trickery. In the end, the titular character comes clean, pinning himself with blame for his misdeeds as Jimmy McGill, Saul Goodman, and Gene Takovic. And a whole lot of other people who would still be alive. Fact is, Walter White couldn't have done it without me. Ironically, the protagonist's incarceration gives him a sense of liberation that he never had as a free man. The ending subverts the self-destructive tendencies of characters in the Breaking Bad franchise. But with good behavior, who knows? Viewers might have thought that he had something else up his sleeve, but Saul growing a conscience was ultimately a much bigger surprise. Number 5. Episode 29, Twin Peaks. David Lynch's horror mystery series thrives on mind-bending plot twists. It's me. Caroline. He wants me in this again. I'm alive. But the final episode of the second season, which seemed like the series finale for more than two decades, hit hardest because of the seemingly perpetual cliffhanger. Main character Dale Cooper heads into the paranormal realm of the Black Lodge, where he witnesses twisted and terrifying visions. Be quiet! The episode leads us to believe that Cooper survives along with his lover, Annie. However, a twist in the last moments of the episode reveal that Cooper is a doppelganger controlled by a malicious spirit. I need to brush my teeth. Good idea. The final shot of the false Cooper is a haunting sight for fans, mocking us for failing to see this twist coming. Number 4. The Iron Throne Game of Thrones the conclusion of the hit fantasy show Game of Thrones takes several significant U-turns with its characters. Those expecting to be wowed by the finale were largely disappointed. The ending sees Daenerys Targaryen complete her sped-up villainous turn, devastating King's Landing. The good world. How'd you know? How do you know it'll be good? Because I know what is good. Her execution by Jon Snow leads to a mild power struggle and a slightly new form of choosing a monarch in Westeros. The lack of justification for things like Bran's selection as king and Jon Snow's exile remains hard to believe. First of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Six Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. While some have come to accept the finale since then, audiences generally have difficulty with such a disappointing end to a landmark show. Number 3. The End Lost Another finale that polarized its fan base, Lost concludes with the characters moving on to the afterlife. The central conflict between Jack and the Man in Black comes to an end, with Jack giving up his life for the sake of his friends. Oh, I do have to. No, you don't. Let the island save Jack. I can't. I can't. It's also revealed that the flash sideways device at play throughout the last season is a kind of purgatory. While an inventive idea, viewers were divided. The finale goes for a peaceful resolution, but uneven execution of the unwieldy plot hindered the storytelling. Then how are you here right now? How are you here? Responses range from confusion about whether anything that happened was real to wondering if the characters were dead all along. That's why all of you are here. Nobody does it alone, Jack. You needed all of them, and they needed you. Most fans were still searching for answers even as the credits rolled. Number two, Made in America, The Sopranos. Gonna be part of my family now. Be good. Trick. You always know what to say to me, don't you? I'm serious. More than the overall episode, it's the final scene to this crime drama series that leaves fans speechless. In the lead up to the ending, Tony Soprano sets about putting his affairs in order. This starts tying up the loose ends of the story, ending the threat of Phil and showing Tony's last interaction with Uncle June. You two ran North Jersey. We did? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's nice. But the biggest talking point is saved for the closing moments, as Tony's fate is left up in the air. His glances toward the diner entrance could be part of Tony's paranoia, or a prelude to an assassination. When the tension reaches its peak, the screen cuts to darkness.
Years later, the suddenness of the show's end still has us reeling. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Everyone's Waiting – Six Feet Under Few shows can claim a finale that satisfies everybody, but the acclaimed HBO series Six Feet Under came quite close. I can't be at home right now. Where will you go? Here. The last episode sees the Fisher family coming to terms with the early passing of eldest sibling Nate. It is Hugh's plot twists and last-minute revelations for a humanized portrayal of people moving forward. To Nate. To Nate. To Nate. To Nate. To my firstborn. Of course, the part that takes the episode to another level is the final montage. Set to the stirring track Breathe Me by Sia, we watch as every member of the family meets their end across decades. By the end, viewers are encouraged to reflect on the show, but also take an introspective look at their own lives. What TV finale left you without words? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Take it sleazy. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.